Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about population genetics and uh, what is unusual about uh, today's problem that we have today four alleles and we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula in order to solve this problem. But uh, your textbooks usually have examples with only two alleles in the gene pool. So here is a problem in 1973 Francesca Ayala and his colleagues uh, sampled a population of deep sea starfish living at the depths of uh, 1,244 meters of the coast of San Diego, California. They used electrophoresis to determine the frequencies of various alleles. One gene that they looked at for the enzyme tetrazoleum oxidase, abbreviated TO, had four alleles abbreviated TO100, TO107, TO114, and TO120. They found that the frequency of each allele was as follows. And here is the frequency of the four alleles. So this part is the name of the allele and this part is the frequency. Name of the allele and frequency. So uh, here is the frequencies of these four alleles. So Ayala observed that in this population 70.6% of the starfish were heterozygous. And here is a question. Does this observation match the prediction of population in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? Usually when we talk about Hardy-Weinberg formula, we uh, think about formulas that where frequencies are equal to, uh, for example, if we have two alleles in the gene pool, so this is going to be P plus Q alleles squared and equal to P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared equals to 1. But uh, as you see, this formula applied to uh, gene pool with two alleles. But, to but in today's uh, problem we have four alleles. So we are going to use uh, different formula or we have to use uh, modified formula. So if we call this formula binomial expansion and today we are going to have four alleles. Let's uh, call them P and uh, Q, R and S. So our formula would look like follows. So frequency would equal to allele P plus Q plus R plus S squared. And square here stands for the diploid organism with two sets of chromosomes. So if we expand this formula, we are going to get P squared plus Q squared plus R squared plus S squared plus and you should understand that P squared, Q squared, R squared and S squared stands for the genotype that is going to be for example P squared would be genotype where two alleles TO100 so uh, this is going to be genotype P100 and P100. So I don't have uh, space to put 100 here. So, but you should understand that this is going to be homozygous um, genotype. And Q squared also going to be homozygous genotype of the two alleles TO107. So here we would put uh, uh, two alleles Q. So this is also going to be homozygous genotype. But this is not all the formula. Also, we have uh, heterozygous genotypes that can be produced by these four alleles. And one would be P and Q. So we put here plus 2PQ, heterozygous genotype. Another one would be P and R. So we put 2 P R genotype. Next would be P and S genotype. 
So we put two P S genotype plus next would be unique heterozygous genotype Q and R. So we put two Q R genotype and next would be Q and S. So we put two Q and S. And the last would be uh, R and S. So these two alleles would make two RS genotypes that is also would be heterozygous and all this homozygous and heterozygous genotype if we going to add all these frequencies we are going to get one just like in our formula for binomial expansion. So uh, actually I can cross out this formula also so it wouldn't distract your attention and today we are going to use only this formula here. So let me circle it. And now we just need to put numbers in this formula and we also don't need this part of the formula because this part of the formula stands for the homozygous genotypes and uh, these genotypes that is in the lower part would stand for the heterozygous genotypes. So we need to uh, use numbers instead of uh, these letters and find uh, their frequencies and we have to add all their frequencies and find uh, what the final number we are going to get. And we have to compare with observed uh, information here and we have to compare our predicted uh, frequencies with observed frequencies. And then we would be able to tell uh, whether this uh, population in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium or not. So let me add more space here. And we are going to use this part of the formula. So we have two multiplied by P and Q and uh, P number or frequency is 0 0.206 so 0 0.206 this is frequency of the P allele and frequency of the Q allele is 0 0.147 so we have to multiply by this number 0 0.147 147. So uh, this is how we find frequency of this heterozygous genotype PQ. Next genotype would be 2PR. So once again plus 2 and frequency of P would be 0 0.206 multiplied by frequency of the R allele and here is the frequency uh, 0 0.353 so we're done with this part here next we have to find predicted frequency of the genotype that is PS so once again 2 multiplied by frequency of the P that is 0 0.206 multiplied by the frequency of the S allele and this is going to be uh, 0 0.294 so we're done with this part and next genotype would be according to our formula frequency of the QR genotype and Q frequency is uh, 0 0.147 0 0.147 multiplied by the frequency of the R allele that is 0 0.353 so we are done with this part of our formula and next would be 
frequency of the heterozygous genotype that is Q and S. So the frequency of the Q would be, um, according to our table here, would be 0 0.147 and multiplied by the frequency of S allele that is 0 0.294. So we're done with this part and the last would be 2 frequency of the R allele that is 0 0.353 multiplied by the frequency of the S allele that is 0 0.294. So now it's very easy calculations, we just have to uh, do all the multiplications and uh, we have to add frequency of each uh, genotype and we are going to get an answer that is 0 0.725. So this is going to be our answer and what does it mean? that frequency of the all heterozygous genotypes in this pool excluding all the homozygous genotypes would be uh, 0 0.725 so what do we have now we have a uh, number that were observed number of heterozygous genotypes in this population and this observed number and you can compare now observed number with predicted number and as you see these numbers are very close don't be misled uh, by this uh, number it is on the different scale between 0 and 1 and number that is here on the scale between 0 and 100 percent in order to convert uh, this number to this number we have to multiply by 100 because in order to convert we have to know that 1 equals to 100 so we have to multiply this number by 100 or we can just move this decimal point two places to the right and our answer would be 72.5 percent so now we can compare these numbers and as you see 72.5% um, is very close to 70.6%. Um, so observed number and uh, predicted number by Hardy-Weinberg formula or Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium are uh, very close and that means that this population in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium usually we can find when uh, population is very large when there is no migration and there is no mutation and some other factors that uh, doesn't influence genotype and uh, allelic frequency for example like uh, preferential matings and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye